A worldwide tech outage also impacted emergency services in Oregon, everything from hospitals to local police and fire agencies as they face some sort of issue. Yeah, many of these organizations and agencies had contingency plans, and as KZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez shows us, most of those backup plans involved putting pen to paper. Obviously, while a computer system outage is never ideal for emergency services, local agencies and organizations say it was a manageable situation. They all had plans in place should something like this ever occur. You know, when I woke up this morning, uh, we, we've had a few situations like this. Peace Health credits its IT teams for managing to fix the software issue that came about because of the outage. While some machines do need to be repaired due to the outage, they expect them to be operational by Saturday. And we are working with our IT team here uh, to sort through what uh, is operational and isn't operational. Other agencies did their best to ensure emergency services continued uninterrupted. Eugene Springfield Fire worked closely with the Central Lane 911 Center and had paper-based backup systems to track calls and and units in the field. If radios go down, they have landlines. If computers go down, they have maps on standby. The same goes for Eugene Police. For Peace Health, most of their centers were able to continue operating. Most of our clinics around town are up and running. Uh, the Family Wellness Center uh, here in town is closed because of the outage. Coming up at 6, how these organizations and agencies are working to get back to 100% normal in the aftermath of this outage. Reporting in Springfield, Julio Mora Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News.